A new month brings with it a new event month in Red Dead Online and in this video we're gonna cover absolutely everything for the month of February in Red Dead Online. This includes all the bonuses, discounts, returning limited time stock, community outfit and incentives for the entire month. If you like this kind of video why not consider subscribing and leaving a like and comment will help me out. So let's get into it. So this technically will be running from February 6th right up till March 4th. And the general theme of this month is my favorite role, which is the bounty hunter role. We will start off with the bonuses and the first is a double cash and gold and XP on all bounties the entire month. There is double cash and XP on the bounty hunter free roam events, which is the manhunt and the day of reckoning free roam events. And there is also double cash and XP on all free roam missions. For those of you interested, I'll just put up a quick timetable of the feature series of this month. So we start off this week with the Hardcore Gunrush teams. Next week will be Hardcore Pro Series. The following week will be the Hardcore Plunder and Spoils of War Series. And finally, we will get the Hardcore Pro Series 3. Next, we'll move over to the discounts. There is free fast travel anywhere you want to go for the entire month, which is always nice. For the Bounty Hunter, there is 5 gold bars off the Bounty Hunter license and there is 40% off the prestigious Bounty Hunter emotes. There is 30% off the Bounty Hunter roll outfits and if you want to see how you can mix and match some of them outfits, I will leave a link below in the description. There is also 30% off the Bounty Hunter wagon, which is a must have I think. And there is also 30% off wagon tents. Also, for bounty hunters, you will get 30% off the reinforced lasso also. And there is also going to be 30% off of bolas this month. Weapons wise, you're going to find that there is 40% off sniper rifles this month. There is also 40% off throwing weapons and you will also find 40% off offhand holsters. You will find 30% off pamphlets for split point cartridges, also pamphlets for poison arrows, as well as the pamphlet for the poison throwing knife. And over at the stables, you will find 30% off the Missouri Fox Trotter horses. At the tailors, you're gonna find that there is 40% off of all of the dresses, as well as 40% off of chaps this month. You'll also find that in the catalog, there are a few returning limited time clothing items, the first being the Chambliss corset. This comes in 10 different variants and is going to cost you 7 gold bars for each variant of the corset. Next, we have the Hope Man Vest for both male and female characters. It comes in 10 different variants and will cost you 5 gold bars for each variant. Next, we have the Hitch Skirt and this is for female characters only, just like the corset. And this comes in 9 different variants and will cost you 2 gold bars per variant. Next, we have the Griffith Chaps and they come in 14 different variants and will cost you around $50 for each variant. As always, there is some free items that will make up the community inspired outfit and this month's outfit was created by user Insamerwolf2000. To make this outfit, you will find a free version of the Tiltham hat. You'll also find for male characters a free version of the Everyday shirt and this will be the Iniesta shirt waist for females. There's a free version of the ribbon tie available for both male and female characters and this version of the opulent vest. This version of the Breakman jacket will be available for male characters and this version of the Hartel Autumn jacket will be available for free for female characters. You can get this version of range gloves for both characters also and a pair of cuffed town pants will be available for both characters for this outfit. Finally, the hardy boots in this variant will be available to complete the outfit. Next, we'll go over all the incentives and rewards of this month, beginning with the month long incentives. So anytime this month, if you reach wave tree in any call to arms mode, you will get an offer of 10 gold bars off the prestigious bounty hunter license. And if you reach low honor anytime this month, you will receive a pair of black woodland gloves. These are a limited time item also. If you participate in either a Day of Reckoning or Manhunt, the free roam events for bounty hunters, you will receive an offer of 40% off a single bandolier. There's also a quick login reward, so anyone that logs in this month in Red Dead Online will get some minty game meat as well as three Brookstone bolas. 
Also, anyone that completes a legendary bounty each week, they will receive a certain reward for that said week. So, completing a bounty during February 6th to February 12th, you will get an offer of 40% off the fast travel post upgrade for your campsite. Between February 13th and February 19th, you will receive a pair of pink grey shot pants if you complete a legendary bounty and completing one on February 20th to February 26th you'll get a reward of a North Ridgewood treasure map and between February 27th right up till March 4th the reward will be a pair of red darned stockings. Between the week of February 13th and February 19th there will be some Valentine's Day rewards so just play between this time and you'll receive three free chocolate bars, five fire arrows and the red patterned bandana. If you complete Love and Honor which is one of the online story missions you will receive a outpour emote and what makes this emote a little bit unusual is this was actually brought in with the outlaw pass 4 i believe uh, i think it was a free emote that came with it but still it's nice that we're seeing that kind of content getting brought back in for some players personally i'd love to see some of that content coming back for the newer players as it would give them something to look forward to but i'm always curious in reading your thoughts on these kind of things Overall though, I think this is a decent enough month for Red Dead Online. I am a little biased though as I do enjoy the Bounty Hunter role and it is my favourite role of the entire online series. If you're trying to just get some quick cash and gold, well then Etta Doyle is perfect for you to grind away at this month. It's one of the easiest legendary bounties to do and I will leave a quick guide on how to do that so efficiently in the comments below. But the reason I really like the bounty hunter role in general is just like there is a lot of unique kind of missions for it. I mean, legendary bounties are really interesting to play through if you haven't played through them already. And if you get the prestigious bounty hunting role, which I highly suggest you do, you will get access to another additional three legendary bounties, as well as the infamous bounties, which I think are one of my favorite pieces of content and something that is often overlooked in Red Dead Online. These are 13 different three-part missions that you take on where you'll find one of the contracts at each of the bounty boards scattered across the world. And each of these contracts will have you track down various gang members of particular gangs through three different missions. They actually have some cutscenes as well for some of the missions, but I just found them to be very interesting and something Rockstar just didn't really push when they released um, the prestigious Bounty Hunter license. So a lot of people didn't even know they existed. So if you haven't played them, well, definitely, definitely check them out. As for the limited time items, it's always good to get some back, but I honestly think that it's so easy for Rockstar to bring them back that they should be bringing back a lot more of them more often. But I do know that the Chambliss corset was an item that a lot of people have been requesting for a long time. So there is going to be a lot of people that are happy they can finally pick this up. But these are just my thoughts on the month event. Now I'd love to hear your thoughts on this month's event. Are you happy to see the Bounty Hunter getting a bit of love this month? And if so, what are your favorite aspects of the Bounty Hunter role? Or if not, what is your favorite role in the game? Love hearing from you guys, son. Massive thanks to everyone who does support this channel. I really do appreciate it, especially to the members. You guys are incredible. All right, people, I hope you enjoy your bounty hunting, and I'll catch you all again soon.